So we will be talking about Be the King today, and we're going to be talking about successfully building retainers. So what you want to do when you're successfully building retainers, and you'll notice that some of this is a little bit different from what I'm going to tell you, uh, learn from my mistakes. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick four retainers to start off with, one of each type. So you'll have a strength, a charisma, a politics, and an intelligence, which I have them all down here. Uh, I have my strength here, good old Hannibal, uh, intelligence right here, and politics right here, and charisma right here. So what you want to do is you're going to pick those four, and you're going to get those four up to about 300 aptitude. And once you're done with getting those four up to 300 aptitude, you're going to stop and you're going to move on to another set of four. All of those should be strength, aptitude, one of each again, and you're going to get them up to 300 aptitude. And once you have them up there, you're going to do another four, all of a different type, and you're going to get them up to 300. And you're going to create this core group of 12 retainers that are strong that you're going to use for stuff like tribunal dispatches and warfares, and they're going to be your powerhouses, right? So the first four you'll take, and you'll level them up as high as you can, um, depending on the amount of clothes and money that you have. Uh, the higher you are able to level them up, like this guy here is a marquee, the more power you're going to generate from using items. So if I use a politics item on him right now, right, I'm going to generate more power than I would if he was only level 50. Okay, it the level has an effect on how much power you generate, which can be important if you're in a power race. So if you're like me and you save up your items to use in a power race in order to get rewards for using your items, then it can be important. You want it to be the highest level and you want to generate as much power as possible. Um, so when it comes to building aptitude and attribute, when it, with aptitude, now I'm going to go against my own rule as I explain it to you, but we have book XP and we have scrolls of enhancement. With book XP, it's 100% success. If you have, like here, if I have a 1,000 book XP, I'm going to get five aptitude because it's a five star and that's how much aptitude it gives. There is no chance or anything. Just like going here to the three star, if I use this right now, I'm going to get three aptitude because I have more than 600. Now, I'm not going to use it. I would rather save for the five, uh, but you can use it. But I would rather use book XP on higher levels like a five star because it's guaranteed I'm going to get that XP. When it comes to scrolls, scrolls have a success rate. So as you can see with a five star, the success rate is 20%. If you get down to the three star, it's 33%. There's differing opinions on this. Some people say only use your scrolls on lower stars because you it's more efficient. You have a higher success rate. Um, personally, I've sat down and I've actually gone through using scrolls in different events and power events and stuff. And I use the scrolls. So I'll see, let's say I have a hundred to begin with and I start using them and I will count how many are successful. Okay. Typically with a five star, I get really about 25 to 30% success rate. Um, the 20% is a little conservative. When it comes to three stars, I'll n normally do 40% 40, 40 around there, 41, 39. Um, I've done it a few times on a few events. This is not my only account. I have some accounts that are older than this. I've been playing for probably about a year and a half, two years now. So the thing is that you have a higher success rate with lower star scrolls okay 
but you get less aptitude. Whereas you might get a little less success rate out of the higher levels, but you get more aptitude. And what I found is that over the course of a lot of scrolls and dumping a lot of scrolls, the success rates kind of even out because I'm, I'll get more, right? I'll get about 40% of my three stars, whereas I only get about 30% on a good day of my five stars. But when I hit that five star, that 30% is all five aptitude. And so the amount of aptitude that I'm getting is evening out. Um, so I don't go too crazy with it. And I will use scrolls on five star. Now, there we go. We just hit that one. Um, if I'm moving along through the scrolls on a five star and I get an unlucky patch and I use, you know, seven, eight, nine scrolls and I don't get any successes like what seems to be happening right now. Okay. At that point, I'll kind of come down here and I'll do a couple. There's a successful one and just kind of try to break it up. Uh, I don't know that it's really doing anything in the game. But to me, it kind of breaks it up a little bit. And then I'll go back. Some people, uh, if you wait, give it time. They feel like that's more successful. I haven't really found anything like that. Um, between going fast or going slow, I've never really found any kind of correlation with it. Uh, it really is just random chance. But either way, so you're going to continue to build. So let's see, what's he at? So he's a 155. So I would continue to use those scrolls on him and book XP until he was at 300. And once he hits 300, I'm going to move away from him and I'm going to go find another charisma retainer. All right, so Leonardo da Vinci here, he's another charisma retainer. And I'm going to start dumping charisma and stuff into him until he's up to 300. And then when he's at 300, I'm going to find somebody else. Um, trying to think of who else. There you go. Sushi. And I would dump until he's 300. Then once they're all 300, I'm going to go back and I'm going to make him 500. And once he's at 500, I'm going to do the same thing with the other two charisma retainers. I'm going to keep building them. And then once everybody's up to that six or 700 range, I'm going to start to work on retainers that are outside of my core group um, and start to make that core group a little bit bigger, right? It'll go from 12 to 15 as I work to get those ones up to five or 600. And once I have a group of 15 retainers at 600, then I'll move on to the next four uh, and I'll get up to, well, actually, I'm sorry, it'd be 16. And then I'll go up to 20 up at 600 and work from there. Um, what you do want to do when it comes to building your retainers is you want to think about tribunal. So tribunal will only dispatch retainers that are level 60 and over. So Outside of your core group, as you're going to build, you want to keep your other retainers, right? You want to keep them at level 59 or below. And what this is going to do is going to help you when it comes to tribunal, because you're not going to have the random chance of retainers that you have not worked on or done anything with popping up, and then you just take an automatic loss. Everything above level 59, everything level 60 and up will get dispatched. And those will only be the retainers that you're working hard on and that have some power. And maybe you can win a few dispatches with them. So just think about that. There is also an element of your confidants that comes with this. Uh, but we'll talk about that specifically in the confidant video. So this has just been a little bit about how to build your retainers effectively using core groups of four, building them one at a time, and moving on afterwards. I think that's all I have for today. You guys have a good one. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.